coronary artery disease is by far the most common disease process that I treat. It's probably one of the most prevalent diseases across the country. It has many risk factors, including diabetes, smoking, having a family history, having high cholesterol, having high blood pressure. So if you have any of these risk factors, you should really get checked out for heart disease. Some of the symptoms of heart disease, including having shortness of breath or chest pain, otherwise known as angina, particularly when you exert yourself. If you are having these symptoms, then typically the patient will be evaluated by a cardiologist, and there are a variety of tests that they can do to determine the severity of one's coronary artery disease. People ask me all the time, are there certain diet changes that they can make, and they drink alcohol, should they get more exercise? The best recommendation I can give them is everything is possible, but only in moderation. Dignity Health has an electronic medical records system that facilitates collaboration between other providers, including other specialists and their primary care providers. This significantly contributes to continuity of care for the patient. If the coronary artery disease is severe, or if multiple vessels are involved, then Oftentimes, surgery is the best treatment option, and for that, they get referred to me. I'm happy to meet with patients and talk to them about their disease process, describe to them where the disease is located, what surgery can offer them that other treatment options cannot. At that time, I also discuss the recovery and what to expect, both in the hospital and at home. As a surgeon, there are things that I can help in terms of derive good patient outcomes, but in terms of long-term outcomes, patients really have to follow the advice of their primary care provider and other specialists.